thank the esteemed organizing committee for this opportunity to speak uh, on Brigada Syndrome. I have no disclosures to make. This discussion is delivered in the context of a growing need to understand sudden unexplained death syndrome, which is a condition with higher prevalence in Asia. Sudden unexplained death syndrome is death which occurs within an hour of the onset of symptoms in an otherwise healthy individual. It is also referred to colloquially as bangungot, laitai, and bokuri in our countries. When it occurs in an infant, it is referred to as SUDI or sudden unexplained death in an infant. Brugada syndrome is a specific subset of SUDS or SUDS. And this syndrome was first described in the 1990s by three uh, Spanish brothers, namely Pedro, Ramon, and Joseph Brugada. It is characterized by a phenotype of SUDS or sudden unexplained death along with uh, documented ventricular fibrillation or syncope, blackouts, associated with a specific ECG pattern. The ECG pattern is characterized by a J-point and cove type of ST elevation in leads V1 and V2 of the ECG. And the phenotype, as you can probably guess, resembles SUDS or bangungut. It has been described from different parts of the world. Our data have been included in this publication by uh, Ms. Asawa on the prevalence of the Brugada uh, syndrome in the world. Overall, type 1 and type 2 pattern are the more common patterns in the Philippines with 2.23% uh, showing the type 2 pattern and 0.18% showing the type 1 pattern. Uh, just to backtrack a little bit, the type 1 pattern is the one with a J-point and convex type or shoulder shoulder morphology of ST elevation, whereas the type 2 pattern has the J-point and the saddle shape of ST elevation. Uh, by definition, it is only the type 1 ECG pattern, which is diagnostic of Brugada syndrome. Now, this uh, inverted pyramid shows the risk in terms of Brugada syndrome presentation. Intuitively, those that have suffered uh, sudden unexplained death or ventricular fibrillation are at highest risk. This is followed in uh, darker orange by those with uh, syncope or blackouts or even pre-syncope, cardiac seizures, and the like. And then, uh, fortunately, those that are asymptomatic, and that would probably account for a majority of those with the ECG pattern, are at low risk and uh, do not warrant at this moment treatment. Now, in the Philippines, the annualized incidence of uh, sudden unexplained death syndrome based on our data is 43 per 100,000 shown in the green bars, the green bar rather. This is comparable to the 37 per 100,000 in Japan and the 41 in China and 38 per 100,000 in Thailand. But you will notice that uh, overall, the incidence in Asia is higher compared to those uh, in the Western countries. Now, Brugada syndrome is classified under channelopathies, signifying an abnormality in a cardiac ion channel. This leads to an arrhythmia, commonly ventricular fibrillation. Ho however, only 20% of Brugada syndrome can be attributed to a single gene, the SCN5A. In the majority of, uh, or the 80%, it's either from a polymorphism or sporadic, meaning uh, negative during genetic analysis. And uh, that single gene that has been accepted as being causal in Brugada syndrome is called the SCN5A gene, which encodes the fast sodium channel responsible for phase zero, phase zero of the, or the depolarization phase of the action potential. Now, the loss of function in the SCN5A is more pronounced in the epicardium. And so, uh, because of this premature termination of depolarization, there is the so-called loss of the spike. The spike is actually from the phase zero and dome, which is the repolarization phase, more prominent in the epicardium, but not in the endocardium of the right ventricular outflow tract. Now, it is this uh, difference in the membrane potential between epicardium 
the one with the loss of spike and dome, and the endocardium, which appears normal, that causes what we call a dispersion of repolarization and phase 2 re-entry, leading to ventricular fibrillation. Now, we know from physics that when there is a difference in membrane potential, current uh, ensues, and it is this current of injury that is manifest on the electrocardiogram, which we have uh, previously defined as the Brugada ECG pattern. Now, the graph here shows that the SEN5A mutation is, has been documented in a larger proportion of uh, Brugada syndrome from Western countries, whereas in, in Asia, it accounts for a mere 10%. And it is for this reason that there, uh, there is some work to try to determine whether they are uh, phenotypically and genotypically identical or not. Now, that being said, aside from the SCN5A gene, other genes have been forwarded as possibly linked to Brugada syndrome, but at the moment have not yet been accepted as being causal for Brugada syndrome. And uh, one will notice that the other genes are also the same genes that are included in uh, the screening for other arrhythmic syndromes, such as long QT syndrome. Some of the genes are genes responsible for cardiomyopathy, such as uh, arrhythmogenic RV cardiomyopathy, uh, catecholaminergic polymorphic VT, and the like. Now, some groups are convinced, in particular those working from Thailand, that Brugada syndrome and Asian SUDs are phenotypically and genotypically the same. Uh, the often cited debut study, randomizing Thai patients uh, between ICD and beta blockers, has shown that uh, ICD uniformly successfully treated ventricular fib fibrillation in Thai SUDS patients and saved lives. However, uh, there are a lot of gaps that remain, in particular when comparing Brugada and SUDS as shown in the previous graph. Uh, SCN5A has been documented more in Brugada and less in Asian SUDS. And then the Thai group has found fibrosis in the epicardial uh, wall of the right ventricular outflow tract in Brugada patients. Whereas the groups that have been working on Asian SUDS have documented some patients with arrhythmogenic RV dysplasia or RV cardiomyopathy. Uh, for both SCN5A, remains the only proven uh, gene that may cause Brugada or Asian SUDS, but a lot of gaps remain. What is clear, however, is that at the very least, there is a great overlap between Brugada syndrome and Asian SUDS, and that both conditions are not largely monogenic, but may be driven by genetic polymorphisms, as documented in genome-wide associations association studies conducted by Bazina et al. in uh, large populations of patients. Now, uh, we've repeatedly mentioned SCN5A has been documented in 20% of Brugada syndrome cases. In the genome-wide associ association studies have revealed polymorphisms in regions near the SCN5A and the HAE2 regions. Now, the diagnosis of Rome Brugada requires syndrome. the presence of the phenotype. Uh, so to reiterate, either resuscitated sudden death, ventricular fibrillation, syncope, pre-syncope, or seizure, along with a spontaneous or provoked ECG pattern with a J-point and ST elevation, T-wave inversion. And the provocation is performed using a sodium channel blocker such as adjmaline, plecainide, or procaine amide. Uh, and with that provocation, the normal baseline may be converted into a type 1 pattern, which is necessary to allow diagnosis of Brugada syndrome. Genetic testing at the moment has a limited role in the clinics, and EP study has a class 2B recommendation but remains controversial. Genetic testing uh, in some clinics may be used and has a particularly strong role if the proband is positive for a pathogenic or likely pathogenic 
she the cornerstone of therapy in Brugada syndrome is implantation of the ICD or implantable cardiopulmonary defibrillator which has been shown to save lives and to reverse sudden cardiac death there is limited rule at the moment for catheter ablation and quinidine which ironically is a sodium channel blocker has some role uh, in the adjunctive treatment of Brugada syndrome patients The guidelines for ICD implantation are very similar between adults and pediatric, uh, pediatric patients with Brugada syndrome. So, obviously, those that have suffered sudden unexplained death or ventricular fibrillation are a class one recommend recommendation, and uh, this is with a level of evidence B. Those with syncope and either a spontaneous. or provoke type 1 pattern are a class 2A recommendation for ICD, level of evidence B. And those that have syncope presumed to be from ventricular arrhythmias with a type 1 pattern, uh, but only during provocative uh, maneuvers are a class 2B, level of recommendation C. ICD implantation is not indicated in asymptomatic Brugada syndrome patients in the absence of risk factors. Now, there are limited data on Brugada syndrome in children. Uh, this is the only uh, study I found. This single center study enrolled children less than 12 years of age. 30% of cases had spontaneous uh, ECG patterns, whereas 70% were either associated with fever or were drug-induced. Majority of this uh, single center study were Caucasians. Only one had a documented chromosomal abnormality, and the only ECG uh, finding significantly associated with Brugada syndrome was first-degree AV block. Catheter ablation of areas of slow conduction surrounding areas of fibrosis in the epicardial right ventricular outflow tract has been forwarded by the Thai group as an adjunctive therapy for Brugada syndrome. This is, uh, we say adjunctive because this is in addition to ICD therapy. A randomized trial is currently ongoing to test the hypothesis that this may be used as first-time therapy. Now, uh, multi a multidisciplinary team as shown here, so you need not just clinicians, you also need uh, coordinators, you need psychologists, you need geneticists who can who can provide uh, counseling uh, as necessary to uh, successfully manage Brugada syndrome patients and that in addition to research and gathering data to further our knowledge on, on this. And uh, actually it is for this reason that the Philippine Bangungut Program has been set up to establish a multi-agency network that will facilitate diagnosis, care, and research on SUDS and Brugada syndrome. The research arm is divided into the Bangungot and Brugada projects, which target to enroll probands and their parents in a trios design who will undergo genetic analysis, results of which will be carefully adjudicated by a multidisciplinary team. Genetic counseling will be provided as well, from the SUDS clinic to be set up at the Philippine General Hospital, together with a path towards possible ICD implantation. The projects will run for two years. So in summary, Brugada syndrome and SUDS are complex and its management multi-layered. Managing patients well uh, requires understanding of the science, but also appreciating the art required to support our patients and a team or even a network approach should allow achieving of these goals. I'd like to end with this quote. Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And it is on this note that I would like to espouse a proactive management of Brugada syndrome and sudden unexplained death syndrome. Thank you once again and have a good day.